Joe Biden has had some classified documents that were retrieved at a private office. Now, among the classified documents, from, these were from his time as VP. He stole classified documents. He was not when he was president. He, they, they, any way Joe Biden could, Joe Biden is so mentally gone right now. He couldn't get away with theft in any capacity, even if he tried. Besides the money that he's stealing from you, the American people, to collect a six-figure paycheck every year. So among the classified documents, allegedly, uh, from Biden's time as VP that were discovered in a uh, private office last fall, last fall, you know, kind of when they raided Mar-a-Lago, around that time frame at least, are U.S. intelligence memos and briefing materials that covered topics including Ukraine, Iran, and the United Kingdom. You know, Ukraine, the country that were, a, you know, every single day on the verge of a hot war with a nuclear superpower over that Ukraine. Ukraine, the country that his son has been basically caught, his crackhead son, has basically been caught red-handed, not only laundering money to, but shaving 10% off the top for his father in shady deals that his father used his, ter his uh, job as vice president to get his consultancy company on board with the Ukrainian government. That Ukraine. Iran, the country that we're constantly tense with. He just left those at his office. Just left them. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had, like, an office job before, but if you took private documents, uh, you're fired. There's no if, ands, or buts. You take private documents to your house, you're fired. Unless it's a work-from-home thing, you're fired. They, they don't ask you about it. it you're just gone. That's sensitive information. It involved their clients. So, you know, if Chase Bank has more respect for someone with $53 in a savings account then maybe Joe Biden could show a little bit for national security issues. That's all I'm saying. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.